Isn't there anything you want to say to me? Um, no. You can't even remember our anniversary? You only care about yourself! Oh no, oh no, I've really messed up! I'll never get out of this one! What's the matter? Just say you're sorry. No, I can't. She never accepts my apologies. She just won't let things go. If the other person is still upset even after you say sorry, maybe consider that it's the way you say sorry that needs to change. The way I say sorry? <clears throat> Slicha. Je suis désolé. Je vous dis. It's hopeless. I think we need to break it down. Let's get serious. Number one, you have to really mean it. If you need help sounding sincere, try thinking what the pain you caused must feel like for the other person. Number two, be specific about what you've done. This helps you to own the wrong that you did and allows the other to know that you understand what it was that caused it the pain. Number three, take full blame. No excuses. No offloading even part of the blame on someone else. But what if it was also her fault? It takes two to tango. Yes, but when the music's over, you take your own bow. This is your apology. Let hers come when she's ready. And number four, do something to right the wrong and show that it's not just lip service. Okay, here goes. Aliza, I'm sorry I forgot our anniversary. Again, for the third time. And tomorrow, I'm coming home early and making you dinner. No, three dinners. When you hurt someone, the part they find so painful is the message it sent. I don't care about you. When you apologize all the way, you take responsibility for the pain you caused. You show that in fact, you do care. And that's something you don't have to apologize for.